Welcome to Mr. Hassan's math channel and in this video I'm going to go through a question from the chapter review 1 of the P3 textbook for the International A-Level Ed Excel uh, Pure Mathematics um, P3 course and uh, this is a question um, this chapter is all about algebraic methods and this question is about algebraic fractions and here we are told to show that when you divide x to the power 4 plus 2 over x squared minus 1, it splits up into this mixed number. You could say in inverted commas, this is like an improper fraction. It becomes a mixed number of ax squared plus bx plus c plus d over x squared minus 1. And you need to find what a, b, c, and d are. They say it's constants to be found. Okay, so here, what we can simply do is use algebraic long division. That's one method. And I'll show you that method. That's probably the most um, popular method in this type of question. So just like in normal di long, long division or division in general, if I have, for example, 7 over 4, I would put the 4 on the outside and the 7 on the inside. So the same thing here, I'll put the denominator on the outside and the numerator on the inside. Find out how many times that the denominator fits into the numerator. Okay, before I proceed, I have to make sure that there's no terms missing. So everything is in the right, you could say, place value in a kind of way, uh, in the right place in terms of its power. So I've got to make sure that I put everything in its right place in terms of its power. So the best way to do that, if there's anything missing between the highest and the lowest um, term, you fill it in with zero. So x squared plus zero x, okay, and then minus one. There, there's nothing missing. And for the next one, you've got x to the power 4, then you've got a constant. So there's a lot missing here. So you've got x to the power 4 plus 0, x to the power of 3 plus 0, x squared plus 0, x and plus 2. Doing this will keep everything under the right term. So when we're doing the subtractions and stuff, it will make life a lot easier. Okay, so setting up like this is important. Then we say, okay, x squared fits into x to the power 4, x squared times. Because x squared times x squared is x to the power 4. And then you multiply x squared by these three terms here. So you're going to have x to the power 4. That must always be the same, otherwise you've done something wrong. x squared times 0x is, is going to be 0x cubed. And x squared times minus 1 is minus x squared. And then we subtract... I like to put a bracket here and put the minus outside so it's clear. We subtract these terms. Of course, that's going to give you 0. That's also going to give you 0x cubed. And that's going to be 0 minus minus x squared, which is 0 plus x squared, which is going to be x squared. Then I bring the next term down. But because there's uh, three terms here, I have to bring the next two terms down. So I'll put, bring down the 0x, and I'll bring down the plus 2. Then I say x squared into x squared goes plus 1 time. 1 times x squared is x squared. 1 times 0x is 0x. And 1 times minus 1 is minus 1. Now... I subtract, there's nothing left to bring down, so this will be the remainder. Whatever's left here is going to be the remainder, which is what goes up there. So if that gives you 0, that gives you 0. Now we've got 2 minus minus 1, which is 2 plus 1, which is 3. Okay, so now I can say that um, when I divide x to the power 4 plus 2 by x squared minus 1, I get now ax squared. So I get basically x squared plus 1. Okay, x squared plus 1 plus the remainder is 3 over the original denominator, which is x squared minus 1. So that's the whole number part, and that's the remainder. It's like when you do, you know, for example, uh, when you do, say, uh, 14 divided by, say, 3. 3 goes into 14 four whole times, and then you got plus the remainder, which is 2 over 3. Okay, so... That's what we don't write the plus when we do normal numbers. We write it like this, 4 and 2 thirds. So here, this is the whole number part. That's the whole number of times that x squared minus 1 fits into x to the power 4 plus 2. But the remainder is 3. So you put 3 over x squared minus 1, the original denominator. So now we can say, we can compare this to that. So you ax squared. So the coefficient of x squared, a, is equal to 1. And bx, well, there's no b term. Okay, there's no x term, sorry. So b is going to be 0. Okay, because you can think of this as x squared plus 0x um, plus 1. Okay, you can think of it like that. All right, so we can say c is equal to, c is the constant term, which is equal to 1. And then d 
is equal to 3. That's A, B, C, and D. D is equal to 3. So A is equal to 1, okay, because you've got 1x squared. B is equal to 0, because you have 0x. C is equal to 1, because you've got 1 here, and D is equal to 3. So we have the answers over here. That's the answer for this question, A, B, C, and D. Okay, I hope that was clear. And uh, um, if you would like to see other questions from this particular chapter, um, as I answer them, um, this chapter one, the answers will appear in a playlist about here. Algebraic methods and fractions, that, 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 that topic will appear over here. And you will have a subscribe button somewhere over here. And over here I'll put something else like a P3 pass paper, a card or something like that you can click on. And that's the end of question number 11. Thank you for watching. And, oh, this should say three again. I forgot to change it. Okay, thank you for watching. And I'll see you again sometime in another video.